Welcome, noble viewers, to Science and Spirituality on Supreme Master Television. Although the surface of Mars appears to have been barren and lifeless for eternity, scientists are closely studying the geological and geochemical data from the Red Planet for evidence of it having had a biosphere similar to Earth in the past. Dr. John Brandenburg, a theoretical plasma physicist from the United States, believes that a humanoid civilization once lived on Mars. He is one of the authors of Dead Mars, Dying Earth, a book concerning Mars's past and the lessons its history holds for our planet's future. Lately, we have observed many severe weather-related disasters around the globe and the rapid disappearance of a number of species which are urgent signals from Mother Earth that the planet is undergoing tremendous environmental stress. A key message of his book is if we do not make immediate changes, the signs unmistakably point to our fragile abode sharing a fate similar to the Red Planet. Let us now hear from Dr. Brandenburg about the book and his theories regarding life on Mars. We are in Madison, Wisconsin with Dr. John E. Brandenburg, a plasma physicist in an aerospace company in the Midwest. Greetings, Dr. Brandenburg. Uh, very good to have you here. Well, among the wonderful reviews and comments on your book, Dead Mars, Dying Earth, Michael Shermer, publisher of Skeptic Magazine mm. and host of NPR radio show Science Talk, comment, an environmental study so big it takes two planets to tell it. These are stories of science to save a planet's soul. They climb inside your heart and mind. Read Dead Mars, Dying Earth, and your home will never look the same. Well, that's very kind of him to say that. <laughs> so what motivated you and Monica Ricks Paxson to write the book Dead Mars, Dying Earth? Uh, well, we were very concerned about the uh, course the planet was on, mm -hmm. and uh, we were hoping to change it in a good direction. We've helped make uh, global warming more of a concern. We must be careful what we dump into the atmosphere. What evidence led you to the determination that there was water and ocean and Earth-like environment and life on Mars in the past, well before NASA's finding that water could have existed on Mars? The most obvious evidence that there was an ocean on Mars mm -hmm. was the fact that the lower elevations shown here on blue on Mars are much smoother. You'll see heavy craters and then a very smooth area uh, at a certain elevation and it became obvious to us mm -hmm. that that's where an ocean had been. There were also isotopic ratios uh, that they'd measured in the atmosphere that suggested that Mars had lost a great deal of, of oxygen and hydrogen in the form of water in the past uh, and um, other estimates based on just the rocks of Mars that Mars rocks must have contained enough water to fill an ocean like on Earth. So what would you say is the significance of that? Where you find water, liquid water, you will find life. These long-lost civilizations on Mars are hypothesized to be located at several sites, including areas of the planet called Cydonia and Utopia. This is known as the Cydonian Hypothesis. Can you comment on how uh, this Cydonia hypothesis has evolved? Uh, well, the Cydonian hypothesis was formulated uh, by us uh, based on the uh, photographs uh, from the Viking of what looks like the remains of a dead civilization, archaeological remnants. They are found right at the shore of an inland of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Uh, what would have been um, the coastline of the ocean and uh, near the mouth of a, a river channel. So it looked like um, a good place to build a city if you were a primitive people mm -hmm. uh, like ourselves uh, in the past. And also we found other sites, uh, particularly here in Utopia, where there were similar structures. Mm -hmm. And we published all of this. 
Most people thought it was an interesting hypothesis. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the course of that, we formulated the ideas that there had been an ocean on Mars. So we started publishing just about the ocean. We, now the ocean um, is a very much accepted hypothesis on Mars. These parts in the southern part of Mars, the highlands, have many craters. Up in the north, however, it's very smooth, very few craters. That means uh, that the, uh, those terrains are very young compared to the rest of Mars. Okay. So the ocean is on the youngest part of Mars, not the old part. Mm. This means the ocean, if it existed, existed for most of Mars history and only disappeared in recent geologic time. And where you have liquid water, you have basically conditions like on Earth. The oceans of Earth define our environment mm -hmm. as a place where it is good for people to live. Mm -hmm. The fact that the ocean is on the youngest part of Mars means the ocean persisted for most of Mars history. This means that you not only had a chance for life to be on Mars in that ocean, but for that life to evolve. Mm -hmm. You may have had fish on Mars, okay. and even porpoises. So this is a profound uh, thought. It's not just that Mars had life. It had it for a long time. We'll be back with more from our fascinating interview with Dr. Brandenburg after these brief messages. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.